Well, I'm going to try playing Count the Council. This is the first time I've opened it. Oh, I didn't even think to check and see if um, it's mouse or um, controller based. Save game when the save slot is empty, you can begin a new game. It's quite loud. Let's try um, settings to turn down the audio. Um, I don't want to set controls. I want to... Oh! Okay. I didn't realize that moved. I thought it was... Let's do audio. I don't want camera sensitivity. I want audio. Screen resolution is good. Well, it says control audio. There it goes. We'll turn down the master volume. And we'll turn down these a little bit. Um, we'll have subtitles on just so we can see what, um, okay, click on the game, okay. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Mm hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. 
Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Ah. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Horn. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Horn, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. 
If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. I guess I get to play a man. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Ooh. I can be a diplomat, I can be an occultist, or a detective. So it says I choose my basic skill and the other skills are available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. I wonder what expensive means. Um, I don't want to be a diplomat. I kind of want to be the occultist, the master of deception, and have expertise in science and the arts. Um, but I'm going to go for detective. Ooh. Let's see. What? I have three available points. Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your Pass granted you one skill points in manipulations. Your pass granted you one skill point in psychology. So um, I have logic, science, diversion, so escape removes all points, space validates it, and I can go back. I guess I'm just going to, hmm, validate, maybe I just go back because I don't, it says I have three points available though, whoops, um, 
Um, convince people with the sheer force of your will and attitude. Okay. I guess we'll put... Oh. So, I need... Oh, I see. I unlocked that. Okay, so these are unlocked. Oh, I hold space to validate it. Okay. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Okay. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Uh-oh. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of effort points. Browse your skills by using the character tab in the menu. So, um... That one's locked. That one's locked. I guess I only have one choice. How do I get to the character menu? I guess I missed how to get to the character menu. I only have one choice. Don't you remember? We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. That fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. You too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. Ouch! Well, that didn't work. Right, time to go to the manor. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have unlocked it. Okay, it doesn't tell me, though, how to... Not really sure what's happening. Validate. What? When the time limit is over, an answer is automatically selected. Oh, that was the dialogue time. I'm heading off. Don't get left behind. Okay, I failed the opportunity. I thought I was grabbing that. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. I take it I was supposed to be able to succeed in that opportunity. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Well, I would love to, but I don't know how to get to the menu. Maybe I should figure that out. Um... Back to menu. Is that the menu that I don't think that's the menu that we're talking about. Oh, okay, so I hit tab. Okay, so here's where I get to view stuff. Not quite sure I understand those characters. I wonder if we can, like... Whoa. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. I wanted to see if I could, like, search anything. 
Apparently not. The trait menu system is quite complicated, actually. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Okay, so I think I need to go back this way. Let me look at the map again. That's the wrong way. Is this the right way? Hard to see here, isn't it? So I probably should be looking for some barrels, maybe? Oh, there's some. Whoops. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Well, well. Let's look. Badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. Huh. 
I haven't the slightest idea what it says. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Probably a Dutchman. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Dutchman. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. I keep hitting space. <laughs> Moving around is kind of clunky. Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Odd. sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Ah, uh, take it. This might just come in handy. Let's press space bar to act. To... Okay, so here's our inventory. Okay. Is there any any more lights around here or things to look at? Okay, I'm getting 
turned around now. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. stairs that way. Was I supposed to find any particular clue? A Latin inscription. An nesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatur. I cannot translate. I guess I should have been the occultist. So I see there's another clue that way. Something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. There we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in the menu. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Right, just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. I'm crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Thank you. Ah, there we are. empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Let's see if royal jelly will fill up our bars. 
Um, how do I get to inventory? Restore two effort points. Whoops. It didn't let me choose it. I'm not sure how to choose it. Well, I'm going to have to figure out how to use those restore points. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha! Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. I found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Review them in the inventory tab in the menu. A fragment of amber. So I press space to access the inventory, but it does not tell me how to get that. And if I hit space, I go back out again. Okay, so where am I? I guess I need to go back and go up the stairs. A Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. I still can't translate, okay. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Okay, that's enough gameplay for one day. We will pick up at this cutscene next time.